Hello, my name is Peter Kestenholz and I work for the Microsoft Partner Projectum. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up a model-driven power app that allows you to do bulk edit and bulk deletion of roadmaps, which is now part of Project Online. So from Project Home or this new landing page for Project Online, you will see only the roadmaps here uh, and the projects that you have created or that others have shared with you. So in other words, if you are the administrator uh, specifically for the roadmaps, then it can be a bit tricky to, um, to manage these as you from this page can only see what you have created. So um, going to Power Apps allows you to come to a place where you can access the backend called CDS, so the database of all our roadmaps. Um, to do that, you can click on Data and Entities and quickly uh, scroll down to R and see the roadmap, roadmap items, roadmap item links, and so on. All of these are entities in the CDS, so the common data service. If we click on roadmap, you can also see uh, what is related to, to each roadmap, which is these standard fields where I've, I've added a few custom fields, uh, in this case, strategic driver, executive summary. Um, you can also see relationships, business rules, uh, views, forms, dashboards, and many other things. Especially data is relevant because this is where you'll be able to see all the roadmap information that you have. But the problem here is that you cannot select them and delete them. Um, so what we can do is that if we go to apps and click create an app, we can create a model-driven app. So a model-driven power app will use CDS in this case and the entity of a roadmap once it's set up. So let's start off by giving it a name called um, my roadmap bulk demo app. So that's the name of the app and we're going to hit OK. And as we can see, we are right now inside the power apps, model driven power apps uh, configuration area. You can also see that a configuration is missing. So that's the navigation of the system. So if we click on this one, it will ask us for on the inside the sub area section here to uh, select an entity. So, or dashboard and, and similar. We're going to select entity and find the one called roadmap. There we go. And that's it. Um, it already has a name called roadmaps automatically, so we can use that or give it a new title. We can also change the grouping and so on and so on, all part of model driven power apps. So, by selecting uh, save, we can also publish this change immediately. And when we then click save and close, the app is now set up already with forms, views, charts, and dashboards. And that's because the entity of a roadmap already has associated views and forms to it. So clicking on forms, you can see the forms here, views, and so on. And if you wanted to change these, you could simply click on this box. And we're going to do that together in just a second um, and do some edits. So uh, you have to select save here as well and then publish before you're able to play the model driven power app. So doing that now launches the, uh, the app. And as we can see, we now have a, an area called roadmaps. And here we can see all the roadmaps, 26 in total, which is great. Now, the thing is that I don't have 26 um, roadmaps inside my um, project online or project solution. So what we need to figure out now is what is in fact a roadmap and what might just be a row of a roadmap. So this is a view. And we need to make a view that kind of only shows high levelly the roadmap names. So going back to the app designer and the views area here, we can go to the active roadmaps and hit edit. And here we can set up uh, different attributes, but especially the filter criteria. So if we go to filter area and add a filter and we select, for instance, roadmap type, we can say roadmap type equals and in this case, it's a roadmap. So in other words, it's not a row of a roadmap. And hit OK. Then we can save this one. And play it again. And it's still showing 26. And that was actually my intention. Because what is quite often not done is to hit the publish button. And there are publish buttons on views and on every single configuration area inside model driven power apps. So to solve that, we go to app designer again, click on the views, go to active roadmaps. And as you can see, we haven't published it, it's in draft. So clicking publish now, and then save and close. Now we can go back to playing our app again. 
and now it only shows 12. So these are the real roadmaps of our solution. Most of them, what you can see here as well, delete me 100, my super roadmap, delete me later, and so on. So um, if I wanted to kind of solve this problem by having too many and that I want to clean up, I can simply go in and select them, delete, 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 delete. And uh, let's go for these four first because I think they kind of reflect what we have right here, most of them. So if we click on the, sorry, that was too fast, this one, and click on delete, and we select yes. If we then immediately go back to this page and click refresh, so as you can see now, um, the delete me now 100 is still there, the roadmap, even though we just deleted it. And that's because this one is a cached view of your recent uh, work. So recent roadmaps accessed or re recent project online plans accessed. So, um, so as a surprise, you can still see the delete me now 100 being here uh, inside project home or the view of project home. And that's because this view is a cached view. So if you go to create it by me instead, you can see it's gone. In other words, these recent projects and roadmaps will be around uh, until replaced with some recent uh, or other recent work. Um, but if you want to track up what, what's in there, you go to create it by me and you can see it's gone. Um, same thing applies if I wanted to delete my super roadmap and my demo roadmap. Again, I would go to my new power app, go to my demo roadmap, my super roadmap, hit delete, hit delete here. Go back to roadmap, click refresh, click on created by me, and now the list is even shorter. So this was an example on how easy it is to set up um, a roadmap bulk editing tool, in this case just for deletion purposes, but obviously you could also go back to the app designer and do many more things inside this area. For instance, like I mentioned in the beginning, setting up uh, different views that and allows you to work with custom fields as well. So in this case, the roadmap here, MVP Summit 2019, is where I can go in and add some of my custom fields as well. And all of this data will go back to the CDS backend. So again, allowing us to do very strong reporting on what might be, uh, at, at a first glimpse, a very simplistic tool, uh, so roadmaps in this case, but with just a few clicks and using Power Apps, we can design it and tailor it to any kind of need and very complex scenarios as well. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.